Hello guys, my name is Punshankar and in this short video, we will create a gauge or speedometer chart. Let's open our Tableau desktop and connect to the Sample Superstore Excel data. Let's select the orders table and go to our worksheet. Now, select on category and profit. Now, click on the profit field, go to quick table calculations and select percent of total. This is quick and simple. But instead of a table calculation, I would like to create the same percent of total as a calculated field so that I can use it effectively in other calculations. Let's create a calculated field and give it a name. I would be using two LOD or level of detail calculations to replicate the percent of total calculation. My first LOD expression would be an include expression. I'm including category field and providing sum of profit as an aggregation. The second LOD expression would be a fixed expression with sum of profit as aggregation. This calculation first calculates the sum of profit at a category level and then divides it by the total number of profit, similar to our percentage of total table calculation. Let's add the calculated field to our view and change the format to percentage. Now, let's remove the table calculation. Now, let's change the marks to pie chart, take our category field to columns, and change the view to entire view. Let's understand what we are going to do conceptually. This pie chart denotes 100% and 360 degree. I would like to cut this pie chart into a half, which is 180 degree, and make that 180 degree half circle to denote 100 percentage. After I do this, I will create calculated fields that can be used to color a half circle based on the values in our data. Let's start creating it and you would see this coming together. Let's create a calculated field and name it as shade less than 0 0.50 and then type in this if logic in it. Then Let's duplicate the calculated field, edit the logic for shade greater than 0 0.50 and type in this if logic. These two calculations would help develop the base for our chart. Now let's remove the profit percentage field from the view. Drag the measure values field and drop it in the angle marks. Now drag the measure names and drop it in the color marks. We can also see that the measure names are added to the filter. Select on edit filter and select only the newly calculated fields. Now, let's create a couple of more calculations. Create a calculated field gray less than 0 0.50 and type in this if logic. Double click on the new field and add it to the view. Let's duplicate the field and create a new calculated field for gray greater than 0 0.50 and type in this if logic. Double click on the field and add it to the visualization. Now, our logic to color our circle is done. Let's cut the circle into a half. For this, I'm creating a calculated field bottom with minimum of one as the formula. Now, double click on the newly created field bottom and add it to the visualization. We can see the bottom field represents exactly a half of a circle. Now reorder the fields in the measure name in the order I am doing. Click on edit colors and change bottom to white, shade to green and gray to gray color. Now we would be able to see the values in our data are represented by the green color shade. It's now time to convert our half circle into a half donut. Create a calculated field by typing sum of zero in rows. Then press Ctrl and drag and drop this field beside to duplicate it. These fields are basically placeholders to create donut like chart. Now select on the second placeholder and choose dual axis. Right click on the axis and deselect show header. Now let's go to the size in the marks and increase the size of our charts. 
create a dummy calculated field named text with a string in it. Now drag this text into the second placeholder in marks and drop it in details. Now select on the text field and change it to color. When we do this, we would be able to see a pie chart inside our half circle. Click on edit color in the new measure name schema text legend and change the bottom to white. Now it is finally time to create the needle of our gauge chart. Let's create a calculated field named needle1 and input this if logic in it. Duplicate and create another calculated field needle2 and input this if logic in it. Now let's go to edit filters in measure names and add the needles. Now let's go to the edit color in measures and assign black color for our needles. Now reorder the measures in the order I am changing. Now select on edit color in measure names comma text legend and change the color of needles to black and the rest to white. Now let's bring category and profit percentage into the label mark of the second placeholder. Let's right click and remove the access headers. Now we can see a neat gauge chart. We can have it as such or we can also change it to a motion chart if required. We can drag the category from columns to pages and create a motion chart that would show the values in motion. I am giving an appropriate name for our sheet. Then going to the format tab and selecting on animations and switching it on. We can go to format and remove the zero lines. And now we can see a neat gauge motion chart. Though the creation process requires us to create some calculations as a one-time setup, it is fairly very simple to create a gauge chart. I hope this video helps in enabling you guys to develop gauge charts for your business metric. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Stay connected by subscribing my channel to dive into more details and learn more together. Please give a thumbs up and share if you have liked this video. Also, please comment below for any questions in this video and I will do my best to help you guys out.